Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Greetings from Kamakura. Yes, we are back here. I can't believe we haven't been here for years. Today, I want to go eat some street food. It's the perfect day trip from Tokyo and I want to take you guys along with me. This video is sponsored by Boksu. More on them later. Here we are at Kamakura Station. It's only one hour from Tokyo on the JR line. And although you can get street food pretty much everywhere in Kamakura, this is the most popular place right here, Komachi Dori. That Tori gate is a symbol. That is the entrance to Komachi Dori. As you can see, it's always crowded. It's so crowded. It's amazing because we filmed all day today in Kamakura and it was never this crowded except for maybe the major temples. But this street is packed with tourists. So let's see, what should we get? for the first street food. I'm aiming to try five things here, guys. You know, I already found one. I'm, I'm gonna get something right here. Right here at this place called Asahina. And I think these are fish cake. I'm not sure, maybe fish cake. Maybe we'll get something from here. So this is the shirasu fish cake. Shirasu is that white bait that's so popular here in Kamakura, Shonan area. You guys see the tiny little fish and they pour a little bit of ponzu sauce for me. All right, let's give this a try. Itadakimasu. It's very hot. Oh, it's a bird. The bird is trying to attack me. Don't you dare come here. Mmm. You know what? It's bouncy and the fish is obviously from the ocean. It kind of tastes like scallop. Mmm. Mmm. I love that. Mmm. It's very good fish cake. It has a nice bounce. But what makes this delicious, super delicious, is the shirasu, the white bait on the top. That is what makes it special. Mmm. Delicious. There's so much choices for street food here. It's almost overwhelming. It really, really is. And you kind of just have to narrow it down to like five. <laughs> anyway, let's see. What else should I get here? All right, I found the next thing I want. I want this here. I want warabi mochi on a stick. They have four different types. Kuromitsu, anko, matcha, or cream. Hmm, which one should I get? I got the matcha warabi mochi. It's 400 yen for two sticks. I've never seen matcha or I've never seen warabi mochi on a stick like this. Never. Warabi mochi is like this uh, Japanese sweet made with bracken starch. Mmm. Oh, that's so cold and refreshing. It's such a hot day today, guys. Um, so much beautiful matcha powder on the outside. So you have that really earthy, bitter matcha flavor, which I love. And the inside, let me show you what the inside looks like. Can't really see it, hard to see it, but it's kind of brownish in color. That's the warabi mochi. It's like gelatiny, but soft. Like, it's like soft gelatin. This is from a store, a matcha specialty store called Sawawa, right on the main street. I am actually in the mood for a dango. I haven't had dango in a while. And I, pretty sure there's a dango store or a couple of dango shops on the street. I was actually thinking of um, buying a korokke here, but they're closed today. Like they're famous for the korokke here. But that's okay. I'm more in the mood for dango at the moment. It's 5 p.m. here in Kamakura and there's still lots of people walking around. Oh, what's this line for? Mm. It's for curry bread. Oh my gosh, look at this line for karepan. Incredible. Okay, anyway, let's look for a dango shop. So guys, before we continue, let me tell you a little bit about our sponsor, Boksu. Boksu is a subscription service. They deliver premium Japanese snacks straight from Japan to your doorstep. Every month they have a theme. This month theme is Midori Summer, celebrating the lush green scenery of the rainy season. There's 15 snacks in this box with an exclusive tea to pair with them. My personal favorites were the Baumkuhin Matcha, the Matcha Cream Waffle, 
Pai no Hitori Goto, 20th Century Pear Gofre, and the Olive no Yume Cookie. But everything was so, so good. The culture guide gives you a mini Japanese lesson and some cultural insights, making the experience even more special. And let's not forget about the beautiful box and the exclusive and rare snacks. So if you're looking for a unique and delicious experience, Boksu is the way to go. Just click on the link in the description and use my code for $15 off your first Boksu purchase. All right, let's continue. Time to look for more food. Oh, this looks good. This is a new shop. I don't remember seeing this shop before. It's called Maison Coco. And what do they sell here? They sell this Namagato chocolate, this cake. Look at this. Looks like chocolate cake with like oozing chocolate on the inside. That looks delicious. Okay. Let's see. I haven't been here for so long. My memory is slowly starting to come to me, but I don't remember where the dango shop is. I hope they didn't close. By the way, guys, today we um, went to some uh, really nice places and we're going to be showing that to you on the Tavi Itza channel. So go watch that video over there, okay? Yay, I found the dango shop. Yes, yes, this is it. Sakura no. Yes, it's called. What is this called? Yeah, I think it's called. Yumemiya? Yeah, it's called Yumemiya. Okay, and they have a variety of dango here. So I'm gonna get one of these. So this is the Ajisai dango or the Hydrangea dango. Just for the Hydrangea season. It's Hydrangea season right now, guys. So doesn't that look beautiful? Purple and green. Mmm, mm. just as I remember the, the the rice cake, the dango is so soft and pillowy. Mmm, I love that. And it's, the paste is just the right amount of sweetness. That sweet bean paste. It's like shiro on white bean paste. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I wonder if the green part is matcha. I hope it is. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, nice munch of flavor. Mmm. You guys know I love a good matcha sweet. That's why you guys are gonna love this month's boksu. Because it's full of matcha snacks. Really good matcha snacks. Mmm. 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 Get munchy stuck on my mouth. Ojina. Alright, let's continue our walk. I love snacking. I love snacking on street food. That's like one of my favorite things to do. How about you guys? When you guys travel to Japan, do you guys like snacking on street food or do you prefer to sit and have a meal? I mean, that's actually not fair because I guess most people like both, right? I mean, I like both. But here's more street food here. I did come a little bit late though. It is already past 5 p.m. so most of the shops close at 6 at least as far as the street food is concerned but don't worry there's lots of restaurants that are open for dinner time Merci Cafe they have soft serve and they have Japanese pudding mm -hmm. umbrella store yeah you know even though this street is so touristy I love it I love coming here I don't get tired of it but please go over and watch the uh, the Tabi Eats video on Kamakura I can't believe there are some Chinese food here this is Shohonpo Shanghai style pan fried dumplings it looks good but it wasn't there before yeah so as I was saying oh wait 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 sorry I keep getting sidetracked but this crepe shop here they have it in Asakusa as well Okay, that's something I have to try next time. Maybe in Asakusa. But uh, yeah, on the Tabi Eats video, uh, we show you some hidden gems like off the beaten path, like not on this street. For example, we also visit a temple that's not crowded, like the main temple here. So we're proud of that video. And so please go over and check it out when you have time. Okay, so 
how many things have I eaten? Three, right? So the goal is to eat two more things. Maybe I'll look for something here. Maybe there's something here in on this street. Oh. These are nice chimes. As I mentioned, it is a hydrangea season right now. All the hydrangeas are so beautiful, guys. Very beautiful, especially in Kamakura. Okay, here's some more uh, seafoody stuff here. Like fish cake, but I had fish cake already. They have some drinks here. What is this here? Oh, this is wadabi mochi. So, kind of similar to what I had first. Sweet potato stuff. Yeah. I wonder what's down this street. Look at this. Do you guys mind if I walk down this side street? I love discovering new places. But then you guys already know that, right? What is this? Cuisine and cafe. So, oh, cuisine française, French restaurant here. Oh, look here. We got some beautiful hydrangeas. I've never seen hydrangeas like that before. Is this a hydrangea? I guess it is. Maybe. Oh, I don't know what's on this side. Okay, this is like a dead end. Sorry. Okay, and it kind of led to. Uh, a private residence so I'm gonna walk back to the main street I hope you guys are having a good day wherever you are seriously I'm having a great day in Kamakura okay so two more things guys two more things to eat if you spot something delicious let me know okay I might get this here Okay, that's another sweet shop. Maybe I'll come back here. This is a churro shop. Okay, that looks good too. Maybe I'll end with a churro. Yeah. Okay, that's the end of the street. So maybe I shall backtrack. Let's do that. Oh. I love this teapot right here. It's so retro looking. You know what? I found something else, guys. Sorry, my battery kind of um, died on me. But I'm back. I found these uh, these um, pancakes. This one has like sweet red sweet potato inside. This one has blueberry and cheese. Bacon and cheese. Hmm, maybe I should try this. Daibutsu Samayaki Good Luck Buddha Cake. Alright guys. I'm gonna get one more thing and I am actually super thirsty so if you don't mind I want to get something to drink I might go get something here at this tea shop right here okay so Kamakura Cha Cha Kamakura Tea Tea so maybe they have yes they look like they have a matcha latte here I think that's what I'm gonna get if you don't mind a matcha latte 650 yen I, they also have some soft serve or ice cream here. They also have ice cream here, matcha ice cream. Different levels, hojicha ice cream. Very similar to that, um, that tea, tea shop I know in Shizuoka. Very similar. Okay, that's my matcha latte. So, let's try the uh, blueberry cheesecake thingy from Tomoyo Kamakura, which is right here. I actually got the last one, guys. I feel sorry for the, the couple behind me. They, didn't, they, they weren't able to get theirs. Okay, it looks like this. Look, it's Daibutsu. It's the Buddha. Oh, and you see the blueberry like oozing out of this. And it's piping hot. Yeah, itadakimasu. That is like a cheesecake pancake. That's like a blueberry cheesecake pancake, guys. Mmm. 
that's cream cheese. Oh, that is so good. So fruity, real blueberries on the inside, super, super cheesy. And the outside really is like a pancake. It's crispy on the outside, but fluffy and soft on the inside. Mm. That's good. Finally, my matcha cha latte. I did not say it wrong. It's not matcha latte, it's matcha cha latte. This is from Kamakura Cha Cha. They specialize in matcha ice cream as well as uh, this thing right here. That looks really nice. Look at that deep green color. It must be pretty intense. It's 650 yen, so it's um, not cheap. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Th oh, th okay, that will wake you up. That will wake you up with uh, caffeine content for sure. <laughs> I, hope, I hope I'm able to sleep tonight. Oh, but you know, you guys know I love matcha. So this is right up my alley. Although I would prefer to drink this in the morning because it's so strong. But if you like that strong, real matcha, authentic matcha flavor, that's super yummy. I'm gonna drink this very slowly. All right guys, we're walking back to the station. Let's focus on the shops on my left side. Yeah, let's just browse around together, shall we? And I probably missed some shops on the way down to buy this uh, intense matcha drink. Okay, this is a Shanghai style pan fried buns. I still can't believe that this store opened here. It's so not Kamakura in my opinion. But I guess, you know, if it's delicious, why not? I guess it seems like it you know, belongs in Chinatown because you find a lot of shops like that in Chinatown. That's okay. Right, this is the place that serves the Kamakura pudding. I did check my guidebook, Kamakura guidebook, before coming here today. Um, I was filming earlier with Satoshi as I mentioned but he is wrist resting right now. This looks interesting. Look at this. Guess what that is? Any guesses? Yeah, this is yaki onigiri, grilled rice ball. But then there's like a crispy thing surrounding the rice ball. They're closed right now but oh my goodness. I want to try that. That's something I definitely want to try. Oh, B-side label, they sell stickers. This store is no tenant at the moment. Komachi Parfait. This is also a new, new store as well. This wasn't here before. This is a bag shop. It's a, there's a, uh, is this a restaurant? No, 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 no. This is a... Uh, uh, what is this? A uh, custom made belt shop. How random, but how cool. Custom made belt. Uh, this is where you can eat the fresh seafood of this area. That's Shirase, the white bait. That's so popular here. That's the white fish. My whole family loves Shirase. It's so good. The dango shop that I bought the dango at earlier is closed. So as you can see, a lot of the stores are closing or have already closed. Alright guys, we are walking back to, towards the station. We're almost at the end of Komachi Dori. But before we do get to the end, how about we turn right here? Let's turn right here. That's Satoshi in front of me. But he's kind of dehydrated today, so... Yeah, he's not in the talking mood today. But he's feeling a little better than a while back. I was a little worried. Because it really looked like he was going to faint. So... He's drinking more water though. He's starting to listen to me. And thank you guys for your advice and trying to force him through your messages to drink more water. That's exactly what he's doing. It was a very hot day today. Komachi Dori, that's the sign for Komachi Dori. Okay, I guess we're gonna cross the street, right? Are we? Yes. 
He's crossing, so we're gonna cross the street. This is Kamakura Station here. Railroad crossing, no stopping. Do you hear that, Lawrence? No crossing in the middle of railway tracks. Yeah, you guys know that story of Lawrence stopping in the middle of the railway tracks in Japan. We're just waiting for the train to pass by for Satoshi. You guys know how much he loves trains. What line is this? Yokosuka-sen? Yokosuka line? Yes, this train goes to Narita Airport. Narita Airport? Really? From here? Yep. Wow! So can you go to Narita Airport? Like from here? Yeah, I said. And then you can... Can you come here from Narita Airport? Yeah, I said. Okay, I didn't know that. Oh, another train is coming. That is the... Shonan Shinjuku line. Why isn't it stopping here? Huh? Isn't this Kamakura station? This is Kamakura station. I, it doesn't stop here. Oh, it is stopping. Oh, okay, it's a very long train. Oh, it's a very long train. Shonan Shinjuku line. That's the train that we usually come on to come to Kamakura. And here we are back at Kamakura station on the other side of Kamakura station. Alright guys, so I'm gonna end the video here because obviously Satoshi is dehydrated and I would like to take care of him. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like it, subscribe for more videos like this one. Also, don't forget to check out Boksu so you guys can try out those rare, authentic Japanese stacks that you cannot get anywhere else. The link is in the description. Alright, see you next time guys. Bye-bye!